Arnold Schwarzenegger, the king of bodybuilding and one of the best athletes ever who brought the complete and full package bodybuilding stage has ever seen. One of the biggest mass monsters of the 70s era, Arnold was a big guy, and that started right from the beginning as he was growing and growing in his teen years. Arnold was reputed for his sheer size and strength, and everything was going well for him. Until 68, 1968, after Mr. World and Mr. Europe, where he would go to IFBB Mr. Universe, where he got beat by Frank Zane. And Arnold at the time was still very, very smooth, although very big, but no definition and no tan, while Frank Zane, although 50 pounds lighter, would come very defined, very tanned, and set the standard for Arnold to actually get better. But Arnold, coming up to that amount of sheer size, would actually use something that was um, useful and uh, inspiring for a lot of people, and that was complete powerbuilding training. Arnold would focus on very strong compound basic movement and just get stupid strong at them. And despite the fact he doesn't have a stronger reputation, Arnold Schwarzenegger actually was a weightlifter and powerlifter champion. At only 18 and 20 years old, he would move such heavy weight that he would actually hold the record for the deadlift uh, in Germany for two years straight. And his total would be just fair away from 1600 pounds. Arnold would of course be very, very inspired by Rich Park, which was his idol and coached by him. And in the 70s, he actually re released a pamphlet to show what he was doing to get that big and that strong. Here is the full body workout that he used twice weekly, and you can see that it is actually very, very basic. A lot of compounds, just a bit of isolation. It is of course a huge upgrade from his previous full body training, which was the Golden Six, and the rep -rich format is actually great to get in a mix of strength and size. But this is a telltale sign of what is Arnold's uh, strong point and weak point, which was training balance. There is way too much pressing variation, no isolation, the leg work is underwhelming and it is highly repetitive. Just adding some variation of the upper body work would be great. And as for the low back fatigue, too much bent over row, too much squatting, too much deadlifting. As for the calf, Arnold was known for his calf, but he actually started right very, very late to train them and he neglected them all his early years of training. This is not supposed to be happening in a good training program, even if afterward you can play catch up. Otherwise, his uh, leg training was also very basic, just squats, while he was actually using much more uh, machine later on and even the Smith machine that you would love and use for all his pressing and squatting to feel better the muscle. So, for my own overview and reworked version of his power building routine, we will be using much more variation, we will be using a little less volume on the pressing, and actually do a much more hypertrophy friendly um, deadlift form. So we keep the, be the bench press, we keep the incline press, we keep the BTN press, but we will move one set. For uh, form movement, actually full range of motion it will be better, as, as you can get more out of the same weight, and of course control better and also um, strengthen the joints and keep a good mobility of the shoulder girdle muscle. For the bent over row, actually bending over slightly less would allow us to use slightly more weight, control it better and having way less low back fatigue to keep us fresh for deadlifting and also squatting. For the arm isolation, I prefer easy bar curl to just alleviate the wrist discomfort that straight bar can create and for the French press, actually having a back support and being slightly tilted backward is way better to actually stretch and train the triceps without actually stressing too much the elbow. As for the deadlift, I wrote touch and go, but you can actually replace it from, uh, for a RDL variation, which is much more um, friendly in terms of hypertrophy component. For the second workout, we are going to use exactly the same kind of uh, mindset, but just use slight low variation. Close grip bench press for less chest but more triceps, high incline press for um, a little less rotator cuff involvement but same thing for delts. We are going to use rows, pull up and arm variation of the first exercise to rotate the variation of the stress of a joint and for the squat we are going to go for the front squat which is much more biased on the quads and way less on the low back and the rest of the legs uh, muscle. 
And for the third day, it's exactly the same. We rotate with dumbbell presses, we rotate with dumbbell work, we go with a bit of pull down. And for the uh, low part portion of the workout, it is actually something that is uh, very, very underrated, but it is simply response technique for the squats. Um, you simply do a top set, which is a heavy set, and then you do uh, a set where you are aiming for 15 to 20 reps with something which is supposedly your 12 to 15 rep max. We are going to breathe between the reps, and that way, in just one set, you're going to create so much fatigue, both systemic and muscular, uh, and go so close to failure, and even in a sense past failure, thanks to the response and the breathing at the top, that your muscle will be just done. And that technique is something that is pretty old school because we have record of athletes doing it in the 30s and it is great for someone that is uh, struggling to add size to the whole body and especially to the legs. So I think that personally uh, I would have even bigger legs if I had done it uh, prior and if you are struggling with it I highly recommend it for you uh, to use it. And as for the stiff-legged deadlift, if you prefer uh, uh, RDL with dumbbell, for example, or back extension, you can do it. This training program is just an idea. Um, I have kept in mind that at this, uh, at this time we will not have much equipment, but what you want to do is actually keep the goal the goal. So I want you to get stronger, I want you to get bigger, and I want you to do that with as little joint and health problem as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you very soon.